Hi friends and welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today we are going to be painting this super awesome autumn moon. As you can see there's lots of fun colors in there, lots of fall colors. Since today is the first day of October I figured why not start adding some of our festive fall colors in. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the background. We're going to work on the moon and then work our way out and then we're going to build the tree up. So we have lots and lots and lots of colors today. We have a full palette. We have red, orange, yellow, phthalo green, phthalo blue, purple, burnt umber, and black. Also white. So let's get started. We have three brushes today. We have our Big Daddy brush, our favorite one. He gets the job done. Then we have this rounded one, and then we have this small rounded one. So drop those two little guys in your cup, and let's grab this big daddy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a tiny little bit of the fire red here and bring it over into the white, and you can barely see it, barely see it. And then we're gonna add the moon. And remember that little trick I taught you it actually starts like this. Don't touch your canvas until you feel like you have a good circle going. And then, voila. And you'll get a nice circle every time. Unless you're painting at an angle like me, which you won't be. <laughs> All right, here we go. Perfect. I like the fire red. It makes it more of like a pinky kind of colored moon. You know how, whoa, look how big I just made that guy. You know how sometimes we get that, um, <clears throat> that glow? I'm just going to turn it this way. That orange glow in the fall? This is kind of like that moon right now. The orange glowing moon. So I actually painted this one on Sunday with a group of new friends and we had a blast and it inspired me to bring it in today. So I just want to thank um, my new friends from Sunday. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I like the moon to dry, so I want to move my way out towards the bottom and uh, over here so that way we can get that on there and the moon can be dried. So I am going to grab some yellow first. You always want to start with the lightest color and then put that wherever you want it. You can always bring some back in. It's not going to be as um, bold, but you can always bring some yellow back into the painting. So I'm going to leave that just like that and I'm going to grab some of this orange and I'm going to bring some orange and feather it in also. And don't forget about your sides because I literally almost forgot about my sides. <laughs> All right, just keep going and just keep rounding it out. Now if you feel like your brush is not moving the paint the right way, go ahead and get it wet, touch your paper towel and just come over here and just move it real softly with some water. Fill in all those nice little spots there. And dun dun. I'm gonna grab a little bit of red and just add a little tiny bit of red through here. I love this color of this fire red for all my fall paintings. I think it just adds to the vibrance of fall. All right. We actually decorated this weekend for fall, so our house is all ready. We went and got some nice corn stalks. We went and got, um, go real slow going around your moon. If you lose it or you go over it a little bit, that's okay. We'll bring it back. We went and got some nice pumpkins. 
um, just, you know, the ones for decoration, not the ones for cutting open yet. We haven't gotten those ones yet. We'll wait till it's a little closer. Hung up some nice ghosts on the front porch. It's like a spooky, scary, fun Halloween house. That was our little Nico's doing. So I'm going to grab some more of this white here. And I'm just going to real lightly come around the moon and just kind of blend it into the sky just a real little bit. I don't want to go too crazy because I don't want to make my moon disappear. But I want to give it more of like a glow around it. So do you see how there's that glow? All right, now we're going to bring these darker colors in now that we have this. Look, I didn't even do my top. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Okay. And let me see. Did I do my side? I sure didn't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I sit here all the time. Don't forget about your sides. Don't forget about your sides. And what do I do? forget about my side it's all right though look at look at how fancy that is we just clean that right back up all right let's let this dry actually I want this orange to dry before we um, round out that moon a little bit oh my goodness we need a compass, that's what I need. I want this to dry just really, really quick before I add any blues or greens or even purple. If you add purple to orange, you're gonna get a muddy color and we don't want that. So let's just get this to dry real quick. We'll even spread the paint out a little bit more. It'll dry if I thin it out. Because remember, we lost that fan. You know what it looks like? A never-ending gobstopper. <laughs> I'm always thinking about food. Yes. That, does that answer your question? <laughs> All right. Let it dry. Let it dry. This is like a total red day. I have a red dress on. I have red shoes on. We're painting red painting right now. So we add the blues and greens. Our, our fun logo's red. We're just bringing all kinds of red in. Oh, it's almost dry, perfect. Yay, now this would be the time for you to go let your dog out, maybe, you know, make a cup of tea. I found some really great tea the other day at um, Bueller's. I got some peppermint tea and some winter harvest tea, but it's like apples. It's like an apple, um, clove tea clover tea so I was excited to try that and it was delicious of course we're getting into tea season not today though because it's 90 outside <laughs> all right clean off that big daddy brush rub its little bottom on your cup and let's scoop up some of this blue and green I like to pull them together a little bit and then just real lightly start feathering it in here And we can even grab some purple, bring some of the purple in. It's like a little tie dye. Thank you, Brian, for pointing that out to me on Sunday. He said my painting looked like a tie dye painting, which I was okay with. <laughs> Now be real light going over your orange if your orange isn't dry with the purples. See how it almost looks like it's getting a little muddy? So just walk away from that one. I know it seems like I'm just covering up all of it and I kind of am. But in the end, we'll still see it through there and it looks super neat. Let's grab some more purple. Let's bring some purple in. Perfect. 
I love it. It's already coming together super nice. I can't wait to see all of yours. Remember, if you ever have any suggestions or any um, paintings that you paint along with me, we love to see them and we love to share them. So please, please, please send them to us. We will post them, we will encourage you. And if you ever have any questions while you're painting, please, please message me. I am always here to help. This isn't just my talent, this is yours also. And I want my friends to love to paint. I'm gonna leave some hard streaks. I feel like these harder streaks are kind of uh, fancy today. There we go. Now, if you're super bummed that you put in a lot of green or a lot of blue or whatever, just clean off that Big Daddy brush again. Then bring in some more yellow and just throw it in there. Lighten up some of that green. Perfect. You can even grab some of that orange and fire yellow. Kind of run a little bit through here. Be real light though if it's not dry. Be super light. You don't want to make mud. All right. Let's pull some down here. Bring some back in here. And then we need to let this dry. So we're going to clean off our brush really good again. Then we're going to come into the bottom and we're going to make our little grassy hill. Green, 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 and now you don't have to make the grass this thick, this far down. If you don't want to, you can go up higher, you can go down a little lower, whatever you choose. Let's get that painted, hit this side, paint down here. Perfect. This is super pretty. I'm loving it. This side's always painted so well. It's the other side that I don't do so good on. Let's see. Let's get this. Here we go. Look at I missed the whole purple section. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. We'll come back in and fix it. It's all right. This is beautiful. And so is yours. I love it. Clean off that brush again. Let's get a little bit of purple and add to our side since I failed there. <laughs> That's all right. We can even add some lighter purple through here. You can even touch the grass, it's okay. It just kind of blends it in a little bit. Perfect, I love it. Now we gotta let it dry, let it dry. Fan, fan, fan. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is the tree. And the tree is super simple. If you know how to cursive write, or even if you don't know how to cursive write, I always try to tell people it's like a, you just want to keep flowing. So you always want to flow with the tree. You don't want to um, make them stick figures. They aren't stick figures. So you want them all to flow together. And we're going to move right onto that tree. So my painting is still wet, but let's grab this little round brush here. Okay. And let's start putting it in. I'm going to pull some brown and some black together. Make a new woolly bear color. Let's start up here. And I'm going to work my way down. I have one stick right now. I'm going to use that one stick and I'm just going to keep coming down into that one stick and kind of thickening it up. And so thicken that up, thicken that up. 
And honestly, we are going to um, pull one over here. We are going to cover up all these branches so it's okay if they aren't perfect. All right. Then I want to bring my tree trunk down this way a little bit, make it super fun and fancy. Go a little thicker here. Let's add, oh, let's add just a tiny little guy right here. Look at how cute that little man is. Love it. Perfect. Let's bring um, a guy over here. That guy right there. Or a girl, if your tree's a girl. Whatever. The trees are the Earth's lungs, so they can be whatever we want them to be. As long as they're happy and healthy, right? Oh my goodness, look how thick I just went on that one. Oops. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Let's add another one, kind of come in here. Let's bring a big branch over here. We want it to kind of wrap around the moon. Last night's moon was super pretty. I thought about um, doing something with last night's moon because it was just this tiny little crescent moon and it was super pretty. I thought that would be neat to make like a, a black sky and then do the orange moon, but then do like a almost like a heart around it. I think that would be kind of cool. So maybe I'll play around with that. Wrap this tree trunk all the way around this moon like this. Make it happy. Perfect. Okay. Now, throw a couple little branches in here just to give it a little character. And we're gonna let this guy dry. No, we're going to clean off our brush is what we're going to do. We're going to add a little shading in there, actually. So I like to take the yellow, and I like to just add little tiny highlights, almost like you're skipping a rock. You just want to kind of add it on there. Okay. doesn't have to be perfect. Then you can even grab some white here and do the same thing with the white. Perfect. And it just adds a little character to the tree. You know, let's go all the way across here. Let's add a little fun white down here. We're actually going to make a lot of the leaves look white. We can even grab some orange and kind of run some orange down here. Almost like some of the leaves have fallen. Okay. Grab a little red and kind of run it through the tree here. Look at how pretty. Perfect. And just take your time working with these trees. You know, definitely um, take a couple minutes to play around. Don't feel like you have to rush through any of these at all. They all look amazing, I'm sure. All right, clean off that brush real good. And I'm just gonna bring a little bit more white into here. Perfect. Even add a little bit more black. Perfect. I just realized I was talking really low probably talking to myself. I do that quite often. <laughs> All right, perfect. So take a step back, look at your painting, check it out, see if there's anything that you want to fix with your tree. Maybe adjust your tree trunk or um, play a little bit with the sky. And if you're happy with it, I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this little tiny brush back in my cup and then pull out this little oval one right here. Do you see it? And this is going to be my leaves, okay? 
So what I do is I start with the white first. I want a lot of white, even some yellow you can mix in with that. And all it is is, whoa, that was a big one. <laughs> just real quick. Just kind of fill it all up. If you're having trouble staying on that angle, you can go like this so that way it looks like it's just going up and down. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Grab some orange, throw some orange on there. And your leaves can be any size, any shape. Don't, don't overthink your leaves though, for sure. Sometimes people start to get a little nervous and they start thinking, oh, should, is this how it should be or is this how it should be? It's any way that you want it to be. Let's add a little bit of white to this orange. Throw some of those. Look how pretty that is. Looking pretty good, huh? We're adding a lot of fall colors here. Making these leaves change color right before our eyes. Um, I'm gonna take some blue and add some blue in there. I like the blue, I think it really adds to our painting here. Oh, I almost scooped up purple. We're gonna scoop up a little purple. How's this looking so far? Pretty good? Pretty fancy? We got us a fancy fall tree. And let me grab some purple. And remember, be real careful with the purple around the orange. My brush is super wet and it's gonna drip water down my painting. Then I'm going to be sad. And I don't wanna be sad <laughs> over the paint. Okay. Perfect. Look at how super pretty that is. So what I'm gonna do is clean my brush off. I wanna add some more whites in there and some more yellows. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of brown. So here's some more yellow. We can add it to the orange and just make bright yellow. This is a fun painting for sure. This anywhere you want to put the leaves. And do you see how my branches are now covered up? Nobody sees my branches. I want you to bring some leaves over your moon a little bit. Perfect. It's funny how, how different the paintings are that when I painted a couple years ago. And then this one is right now. So, and it's totally different than that one over there. It's kind of neat to see them like this though. I'm just gonna add a couple more little droplets down here. Clean off my brush in a second because now I feel like I have to add some more. This kind of reminds me of our peacock painting. Yeah, I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna add some more blue because I love the blue. Actually, let me dry it for a second. Stand up, take a step back, look at your painting, see where you might need to fill it in. If you need to let it dry, just let it dry. Oh, I could add some straight red and some brown. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty. This is turning out fabulous. I cannot wait to see yours. Okay. Love it. All right, let's dry that. Let's grab that brush again, dry it off real good. And then let's grab some red. The red is hidden because my <laughs> green went over it. So let me pull some more red in here. Sometimes we need to refill, but look at, it went right into the green. 
Oh, well. Red, 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 red. Perfect. Oh my gosh, how pretty. What a fun, fun painting. Yeah, we need some red over here. You're right. You are correct. See, talking to myself again. It's all right, though. Ooh, look at that guy pop. Ooh, I love it. I love this. Okay, rinse off my brush real good. Do you love how like shocked I am every time they come out? I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> because every time I do a new painting, I'm like, wow, <laughs> I just did that. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bit of brown. I don't wanna bring too much brown in. Just a little tiny bit. And then I'm gonna leave this guy alone because I love it just the way that it is. And I don't wanna mess with it anymore. I am loving it. So, like all of us awesome artists, that includes you, grab your little tiny brush run it through your yellow or white and just go ahead and own your painting a little tiny initial right here and voila you're finished thanks for watching